Hi, I'm Patrick Campbell, and I'm from Newport News, Virginia, and this is my presentation on History of Motion Arts. Throughout film history, we have been fascinated with the unknown. Sci-fi is no exception. In 1902, A Trip to the Moon, they depicted people landing on the moon and attacking aliens to try to survive. In July 1969, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were the first human beings to actually ever step foot on the moon. Metropolis in 1927 was a fantastic cinematic event of sci-fi where it brought us so much glimpse into the future. We saw androids, video phones, reminds me of FaceTime, and many technologies we use today. The very first video phone was actually in 1963, but the cost was just too much that they couldn't mass produce it. But eventually the technology caught up with us. Now we have Skype, Zoom, FaceTime. Frankenstein's 1932 had a nine-year-old boy sitting in the movie theater being fascinated by a monster on screen. Later on, that man, Errol Birkin, would invent the pacemaker in 1957. Dick Tracy in 1945 was an action-packed detective drama, but he had a little something to help him out to talk to people. I believe we have that nowadays. The Apple Watch or the Samsung Watch is common technology with us. The 50s and 60s saw a spike in sci-fi films with the greatest Stanley Kubrick movie ever made, 2001 Space Odyssey. In the film, we saw major technology advances with an artificial intelligent how, although he might seem a little dangerous. We saw them play chess against each other. We saw tablets, things we have commonly placing around our house with iPads and tablets nowadays. In 1974, Star Wars came out and George Lucas decided that the film was not going to be good enough unless he could create his own special effects. And he brought technology to the forefront that not only advanced film cinematography, but encouraged people to make technology real. In 2014 at the Billboard Music Awards, we saw a performance by a hologram of Michael Jackson performing Slave Rhythm, one of the last songs he recorded shortly before his death. These holograms were brought to life with the technology inspired by Star Wars. Back to the Future, one of the greatest sci-fi films ever made by Steven Spielberg in 1985, introduced the hoverboard and the flying DeLorean. Today, in 2019 and now, in Dubai, they have created a flying car that can actually transport and take people around and is completely automated with an artificial intelligence working with it. Though the cost and the regulations haven't been figured out yet, the technology exists. Total Recall in the Matrix in the 90s showed us VR. Now VR has been around for a little while and it's been experimented with Virtual Boy. But the technology is advancing and getting better. In the 2002's Minority Report with Steven Spielberg, we saw a screen where you can place your hands out and move the screen around. Well, if you check around and you see on Amazon, there's a company called Mayo Armbands that costs $500. But if you put the armband on your arm, you can program it by moving gestures of your fingers and everything, and it will respond on the screen, just like in Minority Report. The history of film has shown us a lot of things throughout our times, especially with sci-fi. It shows us a glimpse of the future, but not only a glimpse of the future, it makes some of our future reality. People that go to see these movies are so encouraged by what they see, they go out and invent it. Film and technology have been intertwined for years. As long as filmmakers imagine what the future may be like, they encourage people to make those futures reality. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to see what the future holds for us.